Welcome to Wally's World, bro. Oh, I told Brandon he ain't getting a sticker. So I took his hood. As well, nice little bell hold they dug here for us. Nice. That's a real nice deal. This is Red, guys. Say hello to Red. So, Red, you just broke out in October. And uh, how long have you been welding before that, Red? Well, no. for a long time.
Swimming pool looks like a welding. Yeah. Oh. He's off. What do you think about that? Is that how the company treats you? Didn't take us too long, we got a knockout. You wanna be a welder or what? Try so to be. Be like, be like, oh, I just wanna be a rig welder. I just wanna weld already. So people are always asking me, they're like, you know, how do I become a helper? How do I become a pipeliner? It's one of the biggest questions I'm always getting. Everybody's like, I wanna be a pipeliner. How do I become a pipeliner? I don't think people realize like I just can't hire anybody um, and then I won't just hire anybody huh? yo what's good my people welcome to Wally's Welding World I'm the well professor and um, I'm just getting on here today to kind of talk to you guys give you some insight um, a little bit of advice now um, it's not always that I get a job uh, but sometimes I am able to get a job and the way I'm able to get my job is either one through my reputation through the work that I put out you know it has a an echo effect and people who hear about it or know about it might want to work me and then two is my uh, my reputation for people that I've worked with that can vouch for me so a lot of the times people will will vouch for me they'll say yeah I've welded with him he's a good guy you know uh, he's looking for a test or whatnot and uh, who be able to pass it, who be able to get on your job and do a good job. And third of all, is your repair rate. If you catch a lot of repairs, um, if you don't know how to fit and fab correctly, and you're always got stuff off, stuff's always short, stuff's too long all the time, and it's a consistent thing and it happens all the time, you might be out of a job. So it's those three important things that keep you working in the industry. It's about who you know, it's about how well you perform, and it's about how good you are at your ability to perform. Those three things alone will carry you very far in the welding industry. Now I have people all the time hit me up for welding jobs and I let them know that either I can vouch for them or I can't. Now if I don't know you personally and I haven't worked for you, it might be hard for me to get you a job. At times I have tried to get people work and uh, I got them a test and they just went and they failed the test. And I said what happened, you know, and they, they give me um, a reason what happened. 
so we'll find them another test and they'll fail that test and after about the second time I quit trying to help those people um, because it doesn't only hurt your reputation it hurts it hurts my reputation uh, I can't vouch for somebody over and over and over to people and say yeah they're a good worker when I don't even know how good of a welder they are so I don't put my neck on the line for nobody really yet that I don't know um, if I'm trying to help a buddy out you know it's different because I've worked with them and uh, I know their work ethic but if I don't know how good of a welder you are and I don't know you personally it's gonna be hard for me to get you a job uh, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube uh, it's just kind of like a social media platform you might be taking pictures from other people's uh, platforms and basically it's kind of kind of stupid but claiming it as your own and that's the wrong thing to do that's why on my Instagram I only show usually my welds and my work performance because it speaks volume for me and how I work you know I use it as a um, kind of a reputation so I just wanted to get on here tell you guys that that it's important that uh, you know that that I just can't get anybody a job because if I don't know you personally and I don't know how good of a worker you are it's gonna be hard for me to get you the test so just know that you have to have it in you to go out there and get it yourself at times I've had to go out there and get the test myself I've had people help me but for the most part I've had to have people uh, give me the chance and then I was able to build a reputation so build a reputation do a good job and the work might come to you other than that guys I'll wrap to you later peace out hey guys thanks for tuning in I appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment below share it with all your friends and your family please and don't forget to hit that subscribe button we'll wrap to you later have a great day peace